Raymond Zar's son. I was only five years old. Raymond was diagnosed with leukemia. This disease of the blood took away Raymond's childhood and our lives changed forever. He's no longer a normal kid. We had gotten a phone call from the Kaiser physician and the Kaiser physician was very concerned that he had an abnormal blood count. I got a call from my wife crying and I was in the hallway. But when somebody thinks that they have a patient in their office that has leukemia, this is not, call me next Tuesday. It's, can the parent bring them right now? She told me that our son got cancer, and it just devastated me. I fell on my knees, start crying. Well, they transported him to Children's Hospital via ambulance. They started immediately. Everything was just crazy. Everybody's coming in the room. He's having blood transfusions, platelet transfusions. An arrangement was made immediately for a hospital bed so that he could be managed overnight for the first week of diagnosis and initial chemotherapy. He did bone marrow biopsies, spinal taps within two days of his diagnosis. My mind kept wandering to the worst case scenario. Um, how was I going to bury my child? I couldn't figure out how I was going to do that. I had to hand my son's life over to people that I hadn't met before. Children's Hospital Central California is the second largest children's hospital in the state of California. We see more inpatients than on any other hospital in the state of California. The first year was like a roller coaster. It was just up and down. It depends on his blood counts. For his leukemia, he had chemo in the hospital, which was vincristine. He took dioxorubicin, Aero-C, Decadron, Methotrexate, 6-MP, Thiaguani. When I was going through treatments, I was scared, and I got sick because the fluids made me sick because I couldn't eat. He went three years, two months of doing the chemo and, uh, and make, taking meds. Mama and Daddy are happy today. The people that I really work for are the parents of these kids. Because what we're teaching the parents how to do is the very difficult situation of managing a child with a serious illness for a very long period of time. The parents are the ones who actually achieve the cure for their kids. April 16, 2010 was a wonderful day. That day I'll never forget. It's the day I became a cancer survivor. It's been four years with no reoccurrence. Well, Raymond, he came up to me one day and he goes, hey, Dad, I like to help kids. What do you think I should do? I said, well, what do you want to do? He goes, well, Mom was telling me that children hospitals were playing a golf tournament. Raymond participates in a golf tournament annually for Children's Hospital. Raymond works on a hole and he asks for donations from the golfers to hit the ball for them. My mom tells them the story and they're not interested because they think a little boy can't golf. He goes, and I get to watch other people chunk, you know, because he likes watching other people chunk, because <laughs> he knows he can get it on the green. In the first couple years, the golfers were kind of like, oh, I just don't know if we really trust this kid to hit our ball for us. Now he's such a hit at the golf tournament. He's requested every year, and everybody loves to see him out there. Raymond, can you come up for a second? This year, the check with Raymond's help, okay, and uh, with all the with all the golfers, 150 golfers, we were able to raise ninety thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> He's been doing that for six years with Children's Hospital, and he looks forward to 
every year, you know, and it gets him out of school, too. <laughs> it gets him out of school. That's the part he likes, too. Since we are the only facility within this area that treats pediatric patients, the support that we receive is crucial for us to continue to provide quality care for many of the kids that live in this area. Fundraising and its importance in a children's hospital. We have to have the equipment, that we have to have the space, and we have to have the personnel to be able to carry out a very detailed treatment plan for each of the children. Children's Miracle Network is um, incredibly important for our hospital. It allows us to provide the care that we need for our children here locally. The monies that they get from the events or the campaigns are what we need to make this hospital function. Our children don't know a tough economy. Just because times are tough doesn't mean that the kids don't deserve the quality pediatric medical care that they need to receive, and they so desperately need to receive. Leukemia took away Raymond's childhood. It took away all those things that made Raymond a normal kid. Raymond's not a normal kid. Yeah, I'm a giver. They have dog footprints on it. Depend on the treatment and never give up and have faith in yourself.